Ryan is Max and this is MaxWorks and today we are going to be reviewing this. This is the Edge Star FP630 uh, ACDC fridge. Basically it combines the best of both worlds of having a cooler and a fridge uh, and allows us to bring kind of a rugged DC fridge on board the Adventure trailer. Um, the reason I chose this specific model was I thought Edge Star provided a lot of value for its money. I paid out of pocket for this. This is not a sponsored video. Um, this wasn't sent to me for free. There is no shilling. Um, we are going to use this and test it over the next couple of months and give you guys just a really good review, hopefully, on the pros and cons of having one of these. Because uh, this model saves you about $300 compared to a similar size uh, Dometic or ARB fridge. And to me, that savings was significant enough to justify taking the risk on uh, a lesser known brand. Has a lot of re good reviews online, um, so I figured we'd just go with it. So, right now, I'm going to unbox this thing. Uh, we're going to take a look at what comes with it. We're going to take a look at how it works. Um, and we're going to fit it to the adventure trailer. And then I'm going to use it uh, on a couple of different trips here in the next uh, 45 to 60 days. So, first things first, um, packing. This is a pretty solid box. It actually came to me in another box with a bunch of foam in it. So Edge Star does take the, because it's free shipping, so they're taking a cut into their profit margin by taking the extra effort to make sure these are shipped correctly um, and safely. So I appreciate that because, you know, I have a pretty good feeling that what's inside of this box is gonna be in pretty good shape. So, she's a big one. So here's the fridge um, out of its box. First of all, it feels good. Everything feels like metal. It feels very solid. Um, we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. So this is what I was looking for. So this is our DC connector. It comes with a standard cigarette uh, style lighter plug on this end, power cord on this end. Um, we're going to cannibalize this uh, to make it fit the battery, but it feels pretty good. It's a good size gauge wire. Um, so there's our AC cord. Um, this is a dual voltage fridge. It'll run AC or DC uh, without a problem. We've got instruction manuals I'm not going to read. And we've got these little shims that hold the top in place. A bunch of plastic. Oh, I got it sticking to my face. Uh, there we go. So, with that off, let me turn this thing on its side, give you guys a better look. So I wanted to give you guys a look kind of in here through the top. As you can see, this right here is probably two inch thick walls. Um, you've got a smaller container over here with removable baskets, and of course the deeper container over here with a removable basket. This is convenient because you can take this inside, Fill, fill these baskets up with all of your crap and then bring it in here and know it's going to fit in the fridge as you have it. Um, down in the bottom over here, if I move the camera, you can see there's a drain port in the bottom left hand side uh, for defrosting and draining. You've got a very large, very nice gasket around the outside here. Um, and when I close this and latch it, it feels very secure. Let me just take this off the tripod for a moment. Um, so you can see there's kind of the front of our cooler. Um, it's got latches. These have little locking points on them. Um, my adventure trailer is lockable, so I'm not gonna have to use those. But if I bring you around over here, this is another feature I really like. These are spring-loaded, as you can see. So that's just really cool. They're firm plastic. They keep out of the way. They even have this a little uh, 1 16th inch tie here to keep the lid from opening too far out. On the rear, you can again see we've got three bolts in each of these uh, lids. It's adjustable for height um, and side to side play. These are just well made. They're plastic hinges, but they feel really well made. Um, there's our drain port underneath. Um, that's where the water can come out. And 
Um, I'm going to reset everything back on the table and we're going to take a look at the charging ports. So um, this is kind of this side. So this flips open to the left. So the fridge is open towards me right now. Um, this is kind of the only downside of this design. It's clever that this panel is here, so it's always facing out in my trailer. Um, and here you can set, basically tells you if it's going to be on AC or DC. You can turn on, there's a fast freeze function. Um, and that's what you said in mode. Right now it's in regular mode. I did set to 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what I want my fridge to be because I'm not using it as a freezer. Um, and it's showing 66 degrees right here. We're gonna see how long it takes to get this thing down to temperature. Um, right now it's plugged into AC power. Like I said, this is the only downside. On mine, this is the outside point, so I'm gonna to have to extend the DC power wire to go a little bit further to make sure it reaches the battery. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put this through the fused control panel yet or not, or if we're just gonna run this thing on uh, straight to the battery itself. Uh, and the reason you might want to do that is because if it's run to the fuse panel, one, it's protected uh, externally. Two, I'm able to turn off power to the fridge entirely if I want. Um, again, this plug is right here. It's easy to reach. So I may just run it directly to the battery. So if I don't need the fridge and I don't want uh, to have a parasitic drain, I can just turn it off. There's, there is, I believe, also, um, let's see. So there's fast freeze. Um, and automatic and then there's low speed as well so basically if i don't if it's hooked directly to the battery and i don't want the fridge to run like when i'm not using the trailer i can just yank this plug out um the other thing is that uh edge star as far as i know does not sell specific straps to hold their fridges down um dometic and arb sell them as a standalone item from what i understand uh, but we're just gonna have to figure out something to make this fit so I'm gonna move some stuff around the garage. We're gonna roll the trailer out a little bit uh, and see if we can't get this installed uh, in the um, in the trailer. Just set it down in a spot, make sure it fits nice. Uh, and then we'll hook it up to power and see how long it takes to actually get down to temperature. So here's our fridge on its slide. As you can see, it fits well. I actually designed this slide around kind of the maximum size uh, ARB fridge I would buy and this is kind of a little smaller than that so it works out perfectly the slide takes the weight nicely you know it's a one-handed one-fingered operation um, plus the trailer is sitting a little bit at an incline right now as you can see if we move it all the way out we have easy access uh, I'm six foot tall I can comfortably reach into here um, even if I was what let's say six inches shorter I could still probably get in here pretty well um, so I would say this is a, a pretty decent size. Again, we have this power port out here, which isn't ideal, but I'm going to basically just run a cable along here back there to, uh, to the battery. Um, so, and then when we're ready to store it, it just slides into its hidey hole. Um, and then the door can close over it. No problems at all. And that basically kind of wraps up our kitchen experience. So I need to find some straps that are probably, this is probably 14 or 16 inches uh, distance. So 32 inch straps, maybe something like a carbuncle strap where I can just cinch it tight and know it's good. It doesn't need to be super duper tight or like ratcheted down. Um, it just needs to hold this fridge in place. The fridge also has rubber feet. It doesn't slide around very much. And like I said, it slides out pretty well and we have probably four inches on the back side that we can move it backwards and maybe two, two and a half inches up here that we can move it forwards if we needed to. All in all, I'm super happy with it. The next test we're gonna do is I'm going to power this up and we're gonna see how long it takes it to get down to 35 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is what I want my fridge to be at. So, I just got back from Burning Flipside, which is kind of a three day camping fest. And I used this fridge so let me kind of give you my um, review of it in terms of how we've used it and uh, kind of what I got out of it. So first of all, last week before I went, I did a longevity test. I have a 100 amp hour battery in this trailer. I um, charged it to full capacity, plugged the fridge in, left it in the garage. It's been 80 to 90 degrees uh, in the garage all week. 
and the battery basically lasted me four straight days. So no solar recharge, no recharge of any kind, just using the battery. We got about 96 hours out of it before it dropped to 11 volts. I didn't want to push it any further down, but the fridge was still on. It's got a cut off at 10.8. So four days is really solid. Uh, I wasn't expecting anywhere near that kind of time out of it, but uh, it did really, really good. We took it out there uh, with the solar recharge. <coughs> this thing barely hit 20%. Um, it ran at 34 degrees all day, all night. It was 100 plus degrees out there in the field. The trailer was in the sun. I had my awnings and stuff out, but like this thing did fantastically kept all our food cold kept all our beer cold um it was a lifesaver the food i brought back none of it was spoiled none of it was wet <clears throat> all in all i'm extremely pleased with this product um let me give you a couple of niggles things that i didn't like so much the first is these handles um they kind of flex and move and they don't feel very good uh, honestly, I would love to see a steel or aluminum handle on here. Also, I would make a slit in here that allows a permanent strap location. So for those of us who carry things in and out, um, it's good to have handles. But for the crowd, like people with trailers or overlanding rigs, where this is a permanent installation, I would really like to see a more concrete uh, strap anchor point. So I'm not just looping it through the, the handguard here. Um, so that's one thing I would do. Maybe eventually I'm going to build my own uh, aluminum uh, mounts. They seem pretty easy to remove and replace, but that's just a small niggle uh, of mine. The other thing I don't like about it is, is that when you plug it in, if you set it to off on the display, the LCD will keep showing off. Like the screen is backlit and it says off rather than turning off completely, which means there's going to be some parasitic draw in your battery even when the unit is off. Um, I don't like that. I think it's stupid. I think there should be a big old power button right here. Um, and in lieu of that, I resort to basically just unplugging the uh, DC power cord when I'm not using the fridge, like when it's sitting in the garage like this. I just unplug the thing entirely. Um, I'd love to see a big power button. Neither of these two things are, are major concerns. Honestly, I would give this thing like a 9 out of 10. Um, we'll see how, how longevity works. We'll see how... how well, it serves me a year from now, um, but an initial use, like I said, we camped hard three day weekends, partied hard. I was in and out of this thing all the time for snacks and beer and whatever, kept everything cold. Um, I did accumulate a little bit of condensation on the inside. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Basically when I got home, I pulled all the food out and then wiped it down with a towel, let it dry in the sun. Not a huge thing. Um, like I said, I'm super pleased with this thing. It's got good weight to it. Um, the straps really do a good job of holding it in place. Uh, these straps did not come with, uh, with this cooler. I'll provide a link for the straps down in the description below. I just got them off of Amazon. Um, but yeah, if you like this cooler, it is an excellent value. Um, it uh, looks to be very similar to the Snowmaster ones. Um, I, I can't comment on that because I don't have one of those. Um, the design is a little different than you'd find from Dometic or ARB, but honestly, at this price point, uh, this is a fantastic option. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of comments on longevity, but uh, fit and finish, use, uh, value, all get, you know, 9 out of 10 for me overall. Very happy with this product, uh, and hopefully it continues to give me uh, years of excellent service. That said, my name is Max. This is MaxWorks. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Check out uh, the playlist for all the build uh, videos for the trailer. Um, if you want one of these products, I'll provide a link down below. It's not an affiliate link. Um, I'm not paid to make this, this video. So, uh, you know, go there. If you like it, buy one of these things. Let them know in the comment uh, that it was my video that sent, sent you there. Uh, just kind of helps me build a relationship with the company. And... Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace.